put something on your arm that would let you use the motions of your arm to control your voice. I'm Ellie Jessup um, and I'm a second year master's student in the Opera of the Future Research Group at the MIT Media Lab. I went to undergrad at Amherst College in Western Mass where I was a theater and dance and computer science double major. With the combination of interests in both the performing arts and technology, I could have said, well, I'll do one of these for my job and one of these just for fun, but the Media Lab was really a place that would let me do both and be able to pursue both these passions simultaneously and integrated. The major project that my group's working on right now is an opera called Death and the Powers that my advisor, Tab Macover, is composing. The opera centers around Simon Powers, a very wealthy businessman, his young daughter, Miranda, his third wife, Evie, and his research assistant, Nicholas. In the script, it's given that Nicholas has a prosthetic arm. And so we said, all right, what does that mean we want to do with this? And well, what if this arm helps him make music? But it's an opera, we're the music group, the performer is a professional opera singer. What if, what if he had a prosthetic arm that actually helped him be more expressive with his singing? When you're um, wearing vamp, you can sing a note and you can physically grab the note you're singing, extend it and then capture it and you can go sing something else. You're still holding on to that note and then you can manipulate it through other gestures that you're using. So uh, through a basic set of sensors on the glove is looking at your arm motion and then taking those gestures and controlling what you're doing with your voice. There's a pressure sensor on the fingertip that picks up the grabbing motion. Um, there's a bend sensor on the wrist for bringing in a new note on the elbow, detects the amount of extension of the arm, and there's accelerometers that pick up the shaking, vibrating gestures. So the data from all of that goes wirelessly to the computer. Do -do. What I really love about the lab is the environment and the culture of interdisciplinary work and basically that anything and everything is possible. There's no, oh, that would be impractical, oh, who's going to buy that? It's much more future thinking and what can we dream up, what can we envision and how can we make it? And I'm working with a group of amazing people.